But, <laughs> but you know, I'm just trying to say rational people have to sort of take the helm of the ship of state at this point, and I think we're at a, a good start. And I, you know, I know Barack Obama is um, a guy who professes to be a man of faith. He talks about it a lot. I think that's because he's a politician in America, and you kind of have to in America. And he's a black guy. He better be a religious motherfucker. But you know, when he when he talks about his mother, he always because she was a secular humanist. He says, and he kind of winks like I am too. I can't really say it. <laughs> But I kind of get that from him. I would be very disappointed if a guy that bright actually believed that God had a son. You see, I have such a problem with this story. God had a son. If he's a God, would he be doing such things as having a son? He's a single parent, you know? I mean, <laughs> and the religious people always say, well, he had to, God had to do things so we humans could understand on our level. To which I say, why not just make us smarter? <laughs> you know, see, God is... That's the thing, God is all-powerful when it's convenient for him to be all-powerful. Like, why doesn't he just, if he's all-powerful, defeat the devil and get rid of evil? Oh, to test us. Why are we playing this game? You know, just make us smarter and better people. Apparently he has that power. But no, he can't defeat the devil. Because if he defeats the devil, then there's no story, there's no bad guy, there's no reason to go to church, no reason to pass the plate. You know, you need the story. By the way, the story is that the devil is a fallen angel who plotted against God who's omniscient, but did not see it coming. <laughs> it's not well thought through, this shit. I'm just... <laughs>